listen to this. This is how I got this deal. I was pulling weeds in my backyard and I had this thought. I don't want to call the next of kin that are going to inherit these houses and say, hey, I'll buy the house. I want to call probate attorneys and I want to work directly with them. But why would they give me the lead? Why would they help me? So I came up with this idea called probate services. I made like $75,000 off of an idea I had in my backyard and providing value to a probate company. So let's talk about probate. Eric and I were just driving down the road and I said, man, I love driving by here because it reminds me of one of the best probate deals I ever did. In fact, it was the first probate deal I ever did with one of the best marketing strategies you could ever utilize. Eric's response was, what's probate? So let's talk about what probate is. Probate is the process that the state requires you to go through when your parents or grandparents have a home or assets that they don't have an estate plan for. So for me, I have an estate plan. I've spent the money. I went to Prime Corporate Services. They hooked me up. So if you guys are trying to set up an estate plan, go to startwithprime.com. That's one of the things that Prime actually brings to our audience is estate plans. My estate plan tells the state exactly what I want to be done with my assets. Technically, the way that I own my properties is I don't own anything because it's all held by a trust and I'm the trustee. So technically I own nothing and I control everything. Then that way nobody can sue me personally, take anything from me because I don't own anything. I don't own this car, I don't own my house. Technically I control it all because I'm the trustee. But do you know how many people don't have estate plans? In fact, if you don't have an estate plan, make a comment down below and say, I don't have an estate plan. And the way to fix that is go to startwithprime.com. So what happens when you don't have an estate plan and you, your parents pass away. What happens is the state requires you to go through probate so that they can make a public announcement to all potential creditors and say, hey creditors, Pace Morby died and he has this house and all these things and before we transfer the estate to the next of kin, we wanna give everybody the opportunity to come in and grab at those assets just in case Pace Morby owes some of you money. We're letting you know. And so it's required to put publication in the newspaper and write an article and say, hey, we're going through probate, all this kind of stuff. So that's the process of probate. About 600 of these opportunities are available to you every single month in Maricopa County. Where can I get probate leads? And I'll tell you how I made money on that Sterling deal. I can get probate leads by going to alltheleads.com. Let them know Pace sent you. I don't get paid anything for that, but just let them know I sent you, they'll give you a discount. By far, the absolute best when it comes to probate leads and next of kin, divorce, and a handful of other lead sources, okay? So here's what I did. Here's how I started getting into the game. When I was a home investor, I would spend 20 grand a month on direct mail. And I'd say that maybe once every other day I was on an appointment, sometimes three appointments in one day, then no appointments for five days. It was pretty sporadic. But my 20 grand a month would be spent on mail and postcards to go to people that have a lot of equity and say, I buy houses for cash. Well, 20 grand a month is a lot of money. Listen to this, this is how I got this deal. I was pulling weeds in my backyard and I had this thought. I said, man, I don't wanna call the next of kin that are going to inherit these houses and say, hey, I'll buy the house. I wanna call probate attorneys and I wanna to work directly with them, but why would they give me the lead? Why would they help me? So I came up with this idea called probate services. Literally, as I'm pulling weeds in my backyard, I came up with this unbelievable strategy, okay? And I talk about this, there's a couple of these videos on my YouTube channel back from three years ago, so you can go back and watch them. Oh cool, we're looking at the property right now. You can get a good little shot of it. Here's how much I made on this house. I made $50,000 on the assignment fee because I wholesaled it. I got a boat. You see the gate over on the left-hand side? There was a boat over there and then in the garage, there was two cars. One was a like a Mazda, what, there's like a Mazda really fast car. I can't remember the name of it. I made 50 grand on that, got a boat, got that car, some other car, I can't remember. Oh, Plymouth PT Cruiser, bro. Chrysler. Yeah, oh, Chrysler PC, PT Cruiser, yeah. okay. So I'm in the backyard of my house and I'm pulling weeds and I come up with this idea and the idea was this. If I could go to a probate attorney and I could help them provide services to their clients going through probate. So think about this. Eric, if you're a regular person and your parents pass away 
They haven't taken care of the house for 30 years. Now you're inheriting this house that needs somebody to go through and do the inventory, do an estate sale, get rid of cats, paint the house, carpet, rehome dogs, deal with cars, tools, guns, all these things. Who do you call? The people that you call is your attorney. Your attorney is like basically sits there and he's like a referral guy. He's constantly giving out referrals to all these individual companies. So I went to the probate attorneys and I said, this was my idea. I go, all right, I'm gonna just go to a probate attorney. I don't know if this will work or not. And I'm gonna say, I'm a probate services company. I provide all of these services all in under one roof. Did I? I did not provide any of them. I go, all right, how's this gonna work? I don't know. I wonder how many probate attorneys are in Arizona. So I go to my computer, I type in probate attorney Maricopa County. There's like 800. And I see the first guy had a sponsored ad. His name is Ryan Hodges. Shout out to Ryan Hodges, my guy. Call Ryan Hodges, get an appointment. I go in there and I go, hey Ryan, I imagine you give referrals for painters, moving companies, rehoming cats, dealing with trash, everything under the sun. I bring all of that in one package. If you just give me the referral to your client, I'll help your client with all these things and make your life super easy. And Ryan's like, are you kidding me? That's like the greatest thing I've ever heard of. That will make my life so much easier. I go, yeah, and you know, we also buy houses. So if I end up buying the house, I can give you a kickback. And he's like, no, no, that's not, I don't need that at all. And I go, do you have any clients that need any of these services right now? He goes, no, not right now. I go, okay, so I leave the, I leave the appointment and I get a call from him the next day. And he goes, dude, I've got this guy on Sterling Avenue. So the guy that was inheriting the property, his name is John, I remember. It was his uncle's house. The uncle never married, didn't have any kids. So he gifted in his will the property to, to John. And he said, it's yours. So John's going to school at Penn State. Imagine being the owner's nephew and you're all of a sudden, now you have a property that has a payment on it. You have a boat, cars, tools, guns, pets, all these things to deal with. And you're like, I, I wasn't planning on inheriting this property. And so the opportunity of calling probates is so powerful because the people that are inheriting these properties are not equipped to take these properties on. So I get on the phone with John and I go, hey John, you know, Ryan Hodges gave me your phone number. I can head over to the property. I can do inventory for you. I can take a look at it and see, um, you know, maybe what a cash offer would look like and just take this thing off your hands. And he's like, all right, here's the, here's the key. And I go over, I get in the property. I'm like, holy crap, there's two cars. There's a boat. There's a this, there's a that, there's a blah, blah, blah. So I go to John. I said, Hey, I can take everything off your hands, take care of everything. You'll never have to worry about this ever. It'll be $300,000. He goes, really? 300,000. Okay. Um, when can you, can you close? And I go a week. He goes, all right, let's do it. A week later, I own the, I don't own the property. I wholesaled the property, made 50 grand. I sold the Z rock thing, whatever that thing's called sold that for like 12 grand, got that 12 grand, sold the boat for four grand, sold all the guns and all the other things for like another 10 grand. I made like $75,000 off of an idea I had in my backyard off of pulling weeds and providing value to a probate company. And I call, when I get this deal done, I call Anna. Anna doesn't work for me anymore, but shout out Anna, we love her. I call Anna, I go, You're gonna, your job is to call through every single probate attorney in town. She's like, what am I doing? And I go, tell them that we're a probate service company. She's like, are we? I go, no, but we're gonna tell them we are. And she's like, well, what if they do need a referral? I go, well, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, don't worry about it, right? That's the very big difference between an entrepreneur and somebody who is afraid to be an entrepreneur is entrepreneurs create ideas and we go follow through with them and we go, Let, I have a lot of figure it out ifness in my personality. So we get another probate attorney, Giancarlo, and Giancarlo's like, oh my gosh, this is great. I love this. And two weeks later, it gives me a lead and I stumble on a dead lady in the house. I got a, I got two Priuses, I got guns, I got, I made like $70,000 on that deal. It was one of the best deals I've ever done. The person who inherited the property, it was his sister who died. Everybody thought somebody came and cleaned up the body, but they didn't. I came, saved the day. It was a great situation. I wholesaled the deal, made 70 Gs, plus we got cars. Cody drove that red Prius for like three years. It was a dead lady's Prius and it smelled like dead lady farts. Every time I saw that Prius when Cody drove around in it, I thought about that $70,000 I made. So 
probate is one of the greatest things ever. And if you're going to start in probate, I would go back into my some of my videos on YouTube and type in Pace Morby probate and you'll see a lot of interviews I did with Rylas Dana, one of my really great probate attorney friends. And I probably have done 50 deals with Rylas Dana. I've done 50 deals with Giancarlo. I've done, you know, a bunch of deals with Ryan Hodges, these probate attorneys, and they become friends to you. Rylas actually every time he does a deal with me, he gets paid $5,000 for every referral he gets. Obviously, he's telling his clients, he's being very transparent, all those things. But it's very simple, okay? I just went to the probate attorneys and said, hey, whatever your clients need, let me know. So check this out. So I get a call. This is like the one of the first three or four leads that I got. These leads are free, okay? So remember, I was paying $20,000 a month in direct mail to get leads that were calling me. And I'm like, I need to find free leads. This is killing me. These leads are killing me. It's too expensive. So this probate attorney thing ended up being a godsend to me because I doubled my revenue in my business. Did a lot of sub two deals here as well, which was awesome. I get a call from Ryan Hodges and he says, hey, I need help. I have a client coming into town. It's Friday night or it's Saturday morning. I get a call from Ryan. And he goes, I've got a client coming into town right now from California. And I told her I rekeyed her home that she's inheriting and I didn't, I forgot. Do you have a locksmith I could call? And I go, no problem, I can take care of it. So I went down there, I rekeyed the house myself and I sat there and waited on the front porch for the customer to come. And I offered that, I, I was like, hey, yeah, I work with Ryan Hodges and here's your key and da 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 da. And I walked through the property with them and I go, what are you guys gonna do with the house? And they go, we don't know yet. You know, we, we weren't planning on this happening. We weren't planning on inheriting a house and a headache and a this, that, and the other. I go, well, I know people that invest in properties. If I could find you a buyer could close in like three days, would that be helpful? And they were like, yeah, I made 36 grand on that deal just from rekeying the house and telling Ryan Hodges that I, I could locksmith the house. So why do I not do this now? Think about why, why, would I, why would my business not do probate leads anymore? The reason why is because the second I stepped out of the acquisition department, the probate attorneys stopped wanting to send me opportunities. Here's why. Probate attorneys want to deal with the other principles of the business. They don't want to deal with your acquisition people. Your acquisition people don't know how to communicate and build relationships with attorneys, et cetera. And so I would give, I would pass these relationships off to attorneys and they would reach out to me and go, dude, what the hell are you doing? I'm not some schmuck. I'm like, I know, man, I'm trying to scale my business. I'm trying to grow my business. So I don't have to be there every day. And they're like, but can you just still work with me? And I'm like, I can't. Like today I'm flying out to go speak on stage and then I'll be in Tampa. Then I'll be in Coeur d'Alene and I'm all over the place. I can't be going to these appointments for your clients. And they're like, yeah, but that's when my clients were the happiest is when you were there. And so over time, it just became easy for me to just let it kind of go away. And so like Rylas Dana doesn't do deals with me anymore. He does deals with my students. Ryan Hodges does deals with my students. Giancarlo does deals with my students. Okay, I pass those relationships on to my Arizona students. But think about that. I was making probably half a million dollars a year working with only three probate attorneys, okay, three out of 600 in the Valley. That is crazy. The opportunity for probate is unbelievable. So if you want us to do a probate masterclass, make a comment down below. And remember, don't be one of those knuckleheads that has to go through probate. Go get an estate plan, go to startwithprime.com. And then if you need probate leads um, and you don't want to go to attorneys because you're afraid to talk to attorneys, then alltheleads.com is a really great place to get started there. And subscribe. Give us some love. Let us know that Eric's hands being tired is not going to be wasted because you are going to subscribe. We'll see you guys later.